All right. Uh, so I, I bought this ukulele recently. I got it on Amazon. And uh, it was kind of a gamble on my part. I went with the reviews from other uh, customers. Uh, I looked online and I could not find any information. The uh, brand is Mackinoo Ukuleles and there's nothing I can find online. So I thought I would put out this video for anybody who's looking into them and thinking about buying one. Uh, this is what I got. I got a tenor ukulele. Um, there are three kinds of ukuleles that people generally buy. There's the soprano, the uh, concert, and the tenor. Soprano is the smallest. It's the more traditional ukulele that people play. Uh, concert is a little bit larger than soprano. It's, it's got a bigger fingerboard. It's easier to play, yet it still has the... Uh, the uh, uh, ukulele sound. A tenor is bigger yet. It's uh, got a much bigger fretboard and it still sounds like a ukulele but it's a little bit brighter. It's, it's, it's closer. It's, it's a ukulele but it's closer towards the classical guitar. Uh, I've got a soprano. I can play it. I, I like it. I put it in my car and, and take it with me when I go out. And uh, it's okay, it's not terribly hard to play, but I just prefer the tenor. So anyhow, this McAnew ukulele I purchased on Amazon. And uh, pretty much it is a, a, uh, a mahogany laminate body. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's not the greatest quality. I'm a poor guy, so I go with the cheaper instruments. I paid $65 for this. Uh, you can get them for as low as $60 on Amazon, depending on if, who you buy it from. Um, anyhow, mahogany body, uh, rosewood fretboard and bridge. It's got a bone nut and a, a bone nut and a bone saddle. Um, mahogany. Uh, mahogany neck uh, it's actually it's a very tra attractive instrument um, it's got some some really nice engraving here and on the headstock there's some more engraving with the logo and an emblem and I was kind of surprised on the back of the uh, tuning machines they've got their brand name in the back of the tuning machines which you know, for a low-end instrument, that was kind of unusual. I was surprised. Uh, there is a tag that says China on the back, so that pretty much tells us where it was made. Um, when I first got this, I uh, I bought some uh, Aquila uh, Nile gut strings, and my intention was to swap them out. But I actually the strings that it, that came with this instrument don't sound bad, so I I haven't changed them. I just, I've kept the strings that originally came with the uh, ukulele. Uh, they sound pretty good to me, so I'm not, I'm not going to change them out. Um, and I got an extra pair of nylon strings now, so uh, when the time comes, I will. But uh, yeah, I am, uh, I'm fairly happy with it. It sounds, it's kind of on the bright side. I've got another uh, tenor ukulele that's it's got a bit more boxy sound like the soprano um, if you play the soprano it it's got a unique sound it, it sounds the best word I can think of is boxy I, I don't know if that really helps at all but um, and my other tenor is closer to that sound it's, it's it's brighter than my soprano but it still has that boxy sound this one doesn't doesn't have that boxy sound to me. I, I don't, you know, it's got a little bit, but it's not much. Um, so I like it. It's got a, it's got a tone all of its own. Uh, the uh, the saddle I should mention is not compensated. It's just a straight bone. I checked the intonation on this ukulele, and at the 12th fret, it's a little bit sharp on all the strings. Not terribly, but a little bit sharp. So. Uh, you know, I, I suppose if somebody was really 
stressing over it and they want perfection, they could come in and they could adjust. They could compensate the, the, the saddle if they wanted to. But as far as I'm concerned, it's, it sounds fine to me. And I am not that high level of a player that I need to worry about exact intonation. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, at the end of this video, I'm going to... I'm going to do a recording of the sound that this makes to give you an idea how it sounds. I I, uh, I don't think the, the video camera will do justice, so I've got to I've got to record it on a microphone. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, also, the the frets, there is a tiny little bit of feel there. You can you can feel a little bit of roughness, but it's nothing that I would stress out over. I would not. I would not bother dressing these. They don't feel so terrible that I think they need to be touched up. Um, I've, I've seen other videos and other comments where people have talked about the frets being a little bit rough on the ends, but I really, I don't, I'm not feeling it that much, so I'm not worried about it. Overall, I think this is a good buy for $60, $65. I think it's a good buy. Um, if you're on a budget or you're just starting out on the ukulele, uh, I would definitely, I would, I would suggest this. I really would. It's, it's not a bad buy for the price. And it's, you know, you don't, when you're starting out with something, you don't want to spend a ton of money because, you know, it, you may not hold an interest in it and you just may want to, you just might set it aside and forget about it. So that's usually how I start out. I start out on the cheap. And uh, I see if I like it, and if I do, and if I get good at what I'm doing, then I'll put more money into it, and I'll buy better quality uh, instruments. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, stand by. I will uh, give you a sampling of the sound, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this interview. Thanks for stopping in. Bye.